Hello, I've got my sketchbook page open. You know what that means. I'm doing an OC. Draw this with me video. I don't know why I said so awkwardly. Anyway, hello everybody, it's me, Lainey, and we are here with my precariously placed for ooh, ooh, I touched it, I touched it, I touched the butt. Anyway, today we are drawing um uh, one of my favorites, not gonna lie. Um, her name is Bisma, uh, which is a name that when I first created the character, I think, I don't remember if it was mid 2015 or 2016, one of the two. Um, I think it was 2016, I created a bunch of just random little sketchy poos. Actually, they're in this sketchbook, hold on. Let me find them. Because, like, I found the old things and then I, like, put them in this book. Um, I drew these of, like, a bunch of guys and they're all based off the elements because, obviously, original idea. Just kidding. It's really not. Um, I redrew them here on this page, as you can see. They all have names now, but they did not have names when I created them. And they've also changed quite a bit kind of. Also, my style's changed a lot. Um, his skin's blue now. <laughs> and then I'm like, but what if they had female counterparts? And so I did. Um, this is what Bisma used to look like. She does not have that green stripe in her hair anymore, I'll tell you that much. Um, but why am I not signing off with the chibi? Oh, let's just go with it. We're going, we're going with it. Anyway, um, so about, a little backstory about Bisma. Bisma is actually a princess in, oh, that's a weird boob line. Boob line? Cleavage line. Anyway, princess. She's a princess of Chell. It's what I'm going with how it's said. Um, but, yeah, princess she is. Um, she's very much like a tomboy. She does not like being princessy, basically. It's what I'm getting at. Um, which kind of sucks for her because people expect her to be like super girly princess and then here she is being biz. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, Chell is basically the Earth family as I like to call it. Um, she is the, she's like, in the middle of like, eight children, um, basically. Dahlia and Solomon, which are the names of the, uh, former king and queen. Um, the new queen, she's a single lady, she's fabulous, her name is Zara. She is g great, um, but yeah, good old Dahlia and Solomon. Decided, hey, let's have eight kids. They didn't actually plan that. They planned to have a lot less, but like time went on and they just kept having more. She doesn't smile. Who am I kidding? Um, yeah. Little Biz, my hair has a lot of trouble expressing emotions. So she's kind of like me, except the way she doesn't express emotions is not the same as how I don't express emotions properly. Um,. She's just really awkward and doesn't like to smile. Um, I have very over-exaggerated emotions and probably the wrong emotions in certain situations. But hey, got Asperger's, what can you do? Um, I don't know why I designed her hair like this either. It's like, it goes up in like a bun for most of it because her hair's light. But because her hair is layered, there's like a bunch of parts that are really short um so her hair's actually like super long but it doesn't look super long it's just tied up in a mega bun um random random hair story there but where was we going was i talking about the siblings i was probably talking about the siblings eight siblings so there's the oldest one zara uh she's the queen currently there's um harley he's next probably should have a reference so I don't forget their names. Um, I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, Harley's the next oldest. 
and then there's Flora, she's kind of creepy, not as creepy as Holly, Holly is like mega creep level, like 9,000 million percent. Um, I'm gonna put a little daisy in her hair, because I think that's cute for her story, which I can get to in a, in a second, <laughs> when I get, stop getting distracted. Um, I just, before I continue and get distracted, I'm just gonna <laughs> rapid fire Zara, Harvey, Flora, um, her twin brother Mason, who is the, the guy that I drew earlier, um, that I showed earlier, and then there's the triplets, which is Zane, who is engaged to Lavender, if you remember that from last, last week, I don't know, a time, or was it two weeks ago, I don't remember at this point, um, and then there's Anne, and then there's also Irene. There we go, cut all the siblings down. <laughs> um, so more about her character. I hit some, a folder over here. Um, besides the fact that she has trouble showing emotion, um, the only really way she shows emotion is when she sings, because she sings beautifully, I imagine. Um, she's my character, so I can say that. That I can't show an example because she's not real. Um, do you just hate those little moments where you want to tell people something about your fictional characters and then you remember they're fictional? <laughs> oh, I'm so used. Um, yeah, so she likes singing. It's one thing she has in common with her boyfriend, Fire. Yes, his name is Fire, he's a fire demon. I'll, you know let, we'll, we'll do him next time. Do him, draw him. Oof. And we can talk more about like their love story. Not that, you know, Fire doesn't have like his own things, but a lot of his life revolves around good old Fizz here. So I feel like it might be fitting in a way to talk more about her in his video, cause this is a very strong, empowered lady. Like, physically strong. Oh, you betcha. Um, back when she was younger, she always wanted to be, like, training on, like, you know, I imagine because it's, like, you know, princess and there's a castle. I imagine there's, like, some kind of training grounds where, like, they train knights and things. She always wanted to be, like, their training. And they wouldn't really let her because it's like, and then she's like, well, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, she's like that. And she's like, I'm going to do it anyway, but they just wouldn't let her. Um, but her good old best buddy twin brother Mason, who was allowed, would um, go have secret training sessions with her after their meeting. So he got double the training time, sometimes triple. He didn't train for all of it, but Biz did. Um, and they trained together for years and stuff in secret. And no one found out for like a large part of it. And then when they did find out, they were all like mortified. Um, and then, um, like, the head captain of, like, the training ground says, Well, if you can beat everybody here, we'll let you in. Mason would not fight, um, but everyone else did. They wanted to go easy on her, because, you know, eh, she's a girl. But, um, she destroyed all of them. <laughs> um, you know... She's maybe not the most like physically strong, I'm not saying she's not physically strong, like honestly, she I think she can do anything. Um she gets up at 5 a.m. and runs through mountains every single day for like two hours with no root. So Basically, she's insane. Um, um, ba -da -ba -dum. Sorry, I'm trying to find colours. 
but yeah, she's borderline insane for that reason, but it really helps her, so, you know, what can you do? But besides being like a boss person, um, she's like, uh, and like, obviously like stuff, she likes to sing, but she never really sings too much in front of people. Not that she's shy or anything, she's just, you know, it's not like her biggest passion. She always wanted to be strong ever since, you know, she's a princess, she's been kidnapped a couple of times when she was younger. Good luck trying to kidnap her now. Um, but when she was younger, um, so she's like, I'm going to be strong and people will leave me alone. She's very much, I don't want people around me. I don't want to be near anyone. I just want to live my life alone. Um, and that was really difficult <laughs> when she had an annoying little guy that was always in love with the trying to like be with her, which sounds adorable, but drove her up the wall for a very long time. And yes, it is the boyfriend I mentioned earlier. She she gave in eventually. Well, not like that. Um, you know, turns out uh, she was in love with him too. She was just an awkward being, and um, I relate. I say like I wasn't expecting it coming, but like literally they were together before I really created any of their story. But um. Yeah, um, I want to talk a little bit about like this world that I keep mentioning. I don't know if I really mentioned it too much um, in Lavender's video, um, but uh, it's like I imagine it to be this one huge island that just has so many little kingdoms on it and all the kingdoms are kind of based off elements in a way because I've got like the four main kingdoms which are earth, um, fire, uh, water, air, you know, the usual. Um, uh, sorry, I don't know what that was. Uh, felt like I had a frog in my throat. Throat? Throat. Anyway, four main, uh, four main things. Um, and then there's... Excuse me, do you mind? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure if you heard, but my laptop made a dinging, dinging, ding, dinging noise. Um, but there's like, there's also like, I think more like weather, I guess, based kingdom so there's like thunder lightning rain um sunshine and rainbows because <laughs> why not you know it's my world i can do what i want um if i want to be basic and do basic things i can who's gonna stop me um oh this pencil needs to be sharpened I need like interlude music or something. But yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's it's sharpened now. So I like to shade with like one color. I just over everything. Um, I feel like it makes the p the drawing look more complete. I usually pick either a purple or like a much more pinky color. It's usually a bit more pinky than this, but I'm, I don't know. I was feeling this color today. Um, I don't know where I was going with what I was saying. So, sorry these videos are really kind of random. I probably should have talked more about Bizma. Um, she's very insecure kind of person. People don't usually think that about her, but she is. Um, even though she likes, you know, being on the training ground with all the, the guys, they all accept her now, obviously, 
um, because she's better than most of them at a lot of things. Maybe not the most physically strong, but she is very agile, I guess would be a good word to describe it. It's very agile. Um, but that really helps her in a lot of things. And like, the ex-head captain was replaced by her twin brother Mason, so that's good, 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 because he was being really annoying and like being get it pulling up a fuss, and then like everyone else who'd like accepted her besides Mr. Captain um, was like, "That's it, you're no longer captain," because like all of them were like, "That's it, you're gone." Um, he ended up leaving altogether, and I'll be and I was like, "Yeah, that's right." And then I'm like, "Wait, I decided this." <laughs> Uh, I really need to stop getting so like excited about really weird things like that. Like, of course it happened the way I wanted it to. These characters aren't real. They feel really real to me. And so like, when I put them in really difficult situations, it hurts my feelings, not gonna lie. It really does. Um, but, I don't know, I feel like it's more interesting to have different characters and then they go through all different sorts of things like this um i don't know just from like a character story kind of standpoint i mean i'm not the best character creator or anything not by a long shot my stories are very much not original like most stories but I don't know. It's a really weird thing because a lot of the characters are fairly like modern in a sense, but the world itself is not necessarily modern. Um, it's like a combination of like really old fashioned, modern, bit of fantasy. And depending on where you go, like each different city, is like themed differently um and i'm gonna drop this little uh bombshell on you but my little minecraft world i'm building is based off my world in a sense obviously it's not exactly the same because it's like i imagine my world to have a very specific shape and style um and it's not minecraft blocks but um, yeah, so, uh, do I want to make it a perfect circle? What colour do I want to use? Let's do yellow. Sorry, I really like the colour yellow. I'm going to get my compass out and everything. I'm really bad at using compasses, so... It's like, Lainey, how can you be bad at using a compass? What's Average. Eh, eh, okay. Oh my god. Perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't remember what I was saying anymore. Oh god. I should probably, you know have these probably a bit more scripted not that any of my videos are scripted I usually like write down ideas and things beforehand to try to have more specific things I talk about and they always fail um, so yay me for that reason I mean, you can't even see it it's not afraid um, I think this video is shorter than the other one. I think I like this because um how I have this set up I know I keep saying about the precarious situation but it's literally a really thick hairbrush that has hold on I'll try I'll sketch I'll sketch it in the corner. This is my thing and there's like 
there you can't even see it but these are drawers and they're like this is the side view and they have like little things and they pull out like that that's the drawer thing where my phone is placed is on a hairbrush that hangs right here so here's the here's the brush it's big it's kind of awkwardly shaped and it's mighty thick so it's too big for this space this space so it like holds in um, here's the brush and there's the like the handle my phone hangs off the handle here is my phone and there are two hair ties that go across it my hairbrush goes in between like that and that is how it's hung up. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there. This is gonna be fun. Anyway, this has been. Oh, my pen broke. Biz. Bizma. Um, oh, Princess. Thank you for watching this incredibly long video. I did not expect it to be this long, but it got really ranty and things like that. Let me know if you like these long videos. Let me know if you have made it to the end. If you like it to the end, can you please comment on my situation? Um, and thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you liked it. <laughs> Bye everyone!